hello 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 welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you are new here i am daquana white i bring you plus size fashion content as well as lifestyle and beauty content today we are going to get into a totally unsponsored video i let my card be charged a couple of times with shoe dazzle and just fab and i just let it build up probably over two years because i haven't had the need or the want to go find any shoes or whatever the case may have been but i just let it build up and um i had about five to six credits on each website i'll have the direct links down below if you are interested but i just wanted you know you know to show you guys what i did grab so i will show you the shoes i tried them on just to let you know if they fit or not but i will actually film the shoes and show you little clips of the shoes and how they look on my foot i won't classify my foot as wide because when I get wide shoes from like Torrid or Ashley Stewart, well, when they used to have shoes, I don't know if they have shoes anymore at Ashley Stewart, but when I would get those, I would have too much space and I would feel like my foot is not secure. And then sometimes when I get, you know, average shoes or whatever the case may be, average width, they don't, they're too narrow. So I would say I have the in-betweener foot and I know a lot of us deal with that because you know, my ankles or calves may be bigger. Um, my calves are definitely wide. So my actual foot is not as wide, but my calves, I would need a wide width boot. So let's go ahead and get into everything that I got. The first thing I wanna start with is actually going to be three jackets and then we're gonna get into the shoes. So the first thing I have here is this like i think it's called like the city blazer or the boyfriend blazer and i got this one from just fab i'm trying to see if it has a name on it either way it'll be linked down below so we do have this blazer as far as pricing i won't put prices on the screen or maybe i will but as a vip member i think it's 39.95 a month you can skip the month like i said i didn't skip a few months so i had some credits but you can skip the month if you sign up as a VIP. I know they have deals like if you sign up, you get like your first pair for $10 or something like that. Or you get 20%, 80%, whatever the case may be. It's like a huge deal when you sign up. And again, just remember to skip the month or just cancel your membership if you don't plan to be a long, like a lifetime or a long-term member. Okay? So I think like initially this would probably be like $80 or 70 or whatever just for an example and i actually got it for one credit or 39.95 so i hope that makes sense um so this here i got in a 3x and i will try it on and you will see it on me but it is it does have these shoulder pads it's like satin or silky lined and i like the way it fits um i have as you know many pants suits many blazers but I'm very particular about the fit. I either want it to be really snug or I want it to have like a really relaxed fit um, where it's kind of oversized, but not too much on the arms. So the next jacket that I have is actually this like beige or off-white um, stone color. And I absolutely love this. <laughs> absolutely love this now me holding it up is not going to do any justice it's like a faux leather then it has that fluff on it i don't know what to call it because it's like a moto style jacket but that fur teddy fur mixed with the leather just has a different look to it and then it has like this gold or matter of fact it's not even gold it's silver hardware I thought it would be gold just because of the color of the material, but it's silver hardware on this. And I did try it on. Now I would probably wear this with a thin shirt that's long sleeve or a turtleneck that's long sleeve, or I would wear it with, I'm looking at my nails cause I have makeup on them. Or I would wear it with a sleeveless top or just a something thin, really, really thin if it does have sleeves because I didn't have a bunch of room in the arms and that's the same for this next one which this one actually came from just fab as well but this one came from shoe dazzle so this one is not a 3x and neither was the last one so both of these are an xxl and not a 3x so i was kind of scared to try them because most of the time like especially lately i've just been trying 3x's and a lot of the times well sometimes those don't always work because it's junior plus size but 
this hair actually fit on the arm it was like also one of those just fitting things so i wouldn't be able to wear a hoodie or a blazer or something thick underneath if i wanted to but i could wear a shirt okay i could wear a shirt or like a turtleneck underneath but not anything too thick but i really had to have this lavender colored puffer jacket it's a cropped puffer jacket and i just thought it was gorgeous i just was like I need that I need it because I don't have anything like it in my closet so that is the three jackets that I did get from just fab and shoe dazzle so I'm gonna move down the line and grab up all these shoes okay so I have some shoes to show you but then I also have two purses to show you but let's go ahead and get into the shoes first because this is probably what you guys have been waiting for I was actually not so much on the hunt for over the knee boots because I feel like I have my staple collection which I will do a collective haul for, for my heels, sneakers, and my boots. It will be separate because it's a lot to try to put in one video. But um, I did want to just try some new styles. So the first one I got here is actually this pointed toe. Now I can't actually try this one on for you, so I'm going to try to give you as much detail as possible. But usually I would not do a heel that is this thin simply because I feel like I don't have support or it's just uncomfortable. But because this was so low, almost like a kitten, I was like, okay, well, I can try that out. And then it just looked wide on the leg. Now, the texture is really nice. Look at that. It's a really nice, like, croc texture. Um, and it just looks really well made. I get all of my boots in a nine. I could wear, like, an eight and a half sneaker, or sometimes an eight, depending on the sneaker. But lately, I've just been grabbing a nine because it's no fuss. I still have a lot of room, whatever. It doesn't look crazy on my foot or fit crazy. But this one here, it doesn't go on. So I'm actually going to give this to my mom. It doesn't have a zipper or anything. Like, you have to slide it on. That's just when I was like, I kind of like zippers, but I don't sometimes, just depending but to have that option would have been nice, even if it didn't go all the way up the boot. But yeah, it just wouldn't go on. It's a slip-on boot, and I'm going to just go ahead and give it to my mom. But I do think this is really well made, and it just looks real, like, high-end. So I actually got this in an 8.5. I thought I got a 9. Okay, well, I'll get 8.5 for a 9, depending. So this one, I don't think it was, like, wide. I would actually say wide calf. Wide calf where, girl? Where? Because they don't have a little elastic or nothing. So it wasn't cutting. I mean, it looked, that's what I said, it looks wide, but it didn't feel so wide. So then we had this one here. And this one says wide calf as well. And it had a little elastic on it. Now, this had a zipper on the inside. And I appreciated that. And I will try this on for you because I can try it on. But it doesn't have that straight up and down look that I wanted it to have. I'm not sure if I'll keep these around. I do love that gold chain detail on there. The chain is not really heavy duty. Um, it's like more of a plasticky type feel. Uh, maybe a lightweight aluminum or something. So I'm not sure how to how it'll like stand against the test of winters and things like that. Snow and all of that. I don't know if it'll be discolored. But just to let you know, it's not super duper, you know, bulky or heavy duty. So, um, you do have a zipper, like I said, on the inside that comes up. But this one had more of a crinkly feel on me. And I would want it to be more straight up and down. So, that's why I said I don't know if I'm necessarily going to keep her around. But I thought she was really, really cute. Then we have, I'm getting into the more problematic ones first. And then I'm going to get into the ones I love. So we had her. She's gorgeous. I think she is a size nine. It doesn't say wide calf or anything. Or not calf because this is not a calf boot, but it doesn't say wide fit. This one is a US nine. Okay. And it's just like this patent leather um, burgundy and black booty. I like the chunkiness of it. It doesn't have much of a platform, but it has a nice lift to it. It just looks really, really nice. Um, I have a lot of things that I could wear with this. You can go all black with the fit. You can go all maroon. 
you can do all taupe, just whatever. You know, it could be an all one color outfit and have the pop with the boot and the purse. But this one here, although it has elastic on the outside and the inside, it just wasn't easy to get on the foot. So, so if, I, if I don't do a clip where I'm showing you it on my foot, it's simply because it was too hard to get on. But when I tried to get it on, I feel like it would have to be like a little more maneuvering and I would have to really push my foot in. And I don't like shoes where I have to do that. Um, and then you do have the tab at the back where you can pull it up. So I do appreciate that. But I feel like it needs more room to kind of get that finger in there. And I'm like, child, let me go ahead and invest in a shoe horn because, whew, my goodness. So this is a really cute pair. I felt like an Eskimo or something. I love this one. It does have like a fur interior and then it has like this silver buckle on it. I just thought that was so cute and I believe it's functional. I don't, didn't have to undo it to get in, but you can undo it if you want to and hook it back in. I don't, like I said, I don't see the need for it, but if you want it to, you can. One thing about this one, it does have the part, the tab on the back, and it has a lot of room for you to stick your fingers in there and pull it up. But it's just like a, um one of those things where you kind of just wish you had a, a zipper or something on it. Like, I don't know. I don't really like slip on booties too much, but you can fold that front part over if you want to and have that first showing. But I actually just love it like this. It just gives me a feel of a moon boot. I like the puffiness of it. And it's one of those things that's like just fitting on me. So that's that boot. Then we have, okay, that's my favorite one. I'm gonna save that one for last. Then we have this boot, which I feel like I'm getting hair on everything, but it's like an off-white beigey color which actually looks kind of nice with the coat, but the coat is a little lighter, but the trimming and stuff is like the perfect match for this boot. So you can definitely like mix or not mix and match, but pair this booty with that coat, especially because the coat is up top and the booty is all the way down low. So people, unless they're really studying you are not gonna be able, I'm sorry, I have hair in my mouth. So unless someone is really studying you, like are those the same beiges or off whites? They won't be able to tell. This one was very comfortable. It's a chunky booty as well. It does have an outer zipper. So this part here is what's gonna be exposed when you're wearing it. And I kind of really like that. It does have gold detailing and it went on really easy and it was like the perfect fit. I got this one in an eight and a half and I think it may be wide, I'm not sure. But again, I'll have it linked down below because it says 8.5 E. And I want to say that means extra wide. Okay. So lastly, for the shoes, we have this one here. So I kind of undid it already. And I have similar boots. I have a black pair and a white pair. But they are more chunky and gaudy and um, just heavy. So then I got this one, which actually goes higher than both of those. And it has a more fitted fit. So it's like a body con for the foot because it's just an elastic material. It does have an inner zipper on there. And it has that, like, I call it the house arrest booty because it has that little pouch. Um that is attached to it but you can take it off if you don't want it um on there and i have a leather hole puncher but i can buckle it into the first hole without feeling uncomfortable but if i wanted to i can just punch another hole closer to the edge and it wouldn't fit as snug so i love the little coin purse type thing on there with the little belt i can't wait to wear this i have an all black fit or a black coat and maybe a jean to kind of break it up a little bit um with the booty instead of doing black on black so you guys can really see the detail i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it yet but this right here is fire maybe i'll do a really long like sock so it'll cut it off and you'll see but this one actually stopped like right under the knee so i would have to do more so like a, a knee high but that was my favorite shoe because it was the easiest to get on 
the most comfortable and I think very, very stylish. So for the purses, I snagged two purses. Um, we have this one here, which is this really pretty light pink and gold purse. I didn't know it had this little like extra, I feel like you can put a mask, an AirPod case, your cash or like your cars in here. I thought that was cute to have that kind of hanging on the side so you don't have to have it on the inside. And when you open it, if I can get up in there, okay, the zipper wasn't the best. So I thought the strap was actually kind of weird, but still kind of cool because this looks like it's for a duffel bag or something more heavy duty. You know, um, the interior is this beige color and I would probably just wear this purse with this strap instead of this one here because I feel like this doesn't go with the actual purse. It looks like it goes with an overnight bag or a spin night bag. So closing it was easier than opening it, but that's this and you don't have to have this hanging off either. You can unhook it and put it in the purse if you don't want it to hang off, but I like the look of it just hanging there. But that is this purse and it's actually heavier, maybe because of the chain, but it's heavier than I expected. I expected it to be a little, you know, a little lightweight little purse. So then we have this one here. And I specifically got this one to match um, a hat that I purchased from Shein. So this is the hat here. It's that faux leather with the teddy trim. And this is the purse. And they do match really, really nicely. And I want a coat just like that. So a coat similar to the beige one we had earlier, but in black with the white trim. So that's why I got all of that, okay? And I just saw this purse and I just was like, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I like the gold hardware there, okay? Just turn it, open it, and there you go. One thing I really liked is that the strap is actually not, like it doesn't come off. So it's not detachable. And I know for some people you probably won't like it, but for me, I prefer that. <laughs> like I don't need it to come off even though I would want it to be a shorter strap, so I wish it was interchangeable, but it just seems more secure when it's stuck to the bag. So that's that one there. You can adjust the length of it with the belt portion of it or the buckle portion, but it's a cute little shoulder bag. So that concludes my Just Fab and Shoe Dazzle haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll have everything linked. And of course, if you want to become a VIP member, I'll have that link as well. You're not obligated to shop every single month. Of course, this is unsponsored. I am a member myself of Adore Me, Just Fab, and Shoe Dazzle, as well as Savage X Fenty. Now you can go ahead and skip the month if you don't want to spend no coins, or you can let it charge your card so you can have that one credit or, you know, the couple credits at the end of the year and go ahead and splurge at the top of the year. That's what I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I actually had a sneak peek of these items in my Vlogmas and that was that. So let me go ahead and hop into some more videos. Your girl been doing what had to be done for her content, okay?